Sheila, great episode today. You won't want to miss this one. But I was uh, on the call with you. No, but I mean like if like not you, but other people won't want to miss it. So they should tune in because we have lots of information about coming up stuff. <laughs> I will definitely watch the episode as should everybody else. Okay, okay. let's start it. Welcome back, uh, season two, Serious and Silly. I'm Scott, this is Sheila. And as we wind down the winter 21 semester and look forward to the fall 21 semester, we have three wonderful guests that we are going to discuss this topic with. And uh, hopefully they can shed some light on some uh, very important questions that we have. Uh, first off, we have the coordinator of athletics, long time. Uh, Sheila used to actually do our job in student life. And uh, next to him, the director of student services, long time uh, athletics uh, coordinator. He's also our current men's assistant soccer coach. And just below them, uh, one of our wonderful members, He's the community involvement officer, original member of FLIP, an all around wonderful guy, Chris Berg. Well, all of you, welcome to Serious and Silly. Woo! Morning, everyone. Time. Glad to be here. Sheila, we have some very important questions, so let's get right at it. Uh, the first one is for Dean. And Dean, we want you to look into your crystal ball right now. Uh, it is August 20th, 2021. You've come out of your office in student services. It's the first day of classes. Tell us what you see. I think before we start, Scott, I think it's really important. I need to know if you want the serious or the silly side of it. <laughs> That's really important because what I have got is I've got my serious side, but I also have <laughs> the silly side. So I need to know. I need Dean, to know. you got to put it on. <laughs> which, which side do you want is my serious Yes, or silly side, if I can get a shirt on here. Hold on just a second, Scott. <laughs> oh, okay, well, we'll get it half on. But I've got the serious and I've got the silly side. So I, what do you want from me today, Scott? We, we need you to have some sort of crystal ball and you're looking into it and you're predicting the future for our wonderful staff and students. And well, it could be a little bit of both, <laughs> serious and silly. <laughs> So I think I, I think Champlain right now is uh, really uh, excited and um, looking forward to having all the students back in the building and on campus um, in August, and that's really important. And I think you know Chris can probably confirm that it's not a college experience if you don't get to be in the building. So uh, that's really really important for us. So what we're asking is that everybody, if I had a crystal ball, if everybody does their job of social distancing, getting vaccinated, um, and following all the directives, and we have a better chance of all being together in August. So I think that that's the objective right now. So right now, the college is getting together. We are planning for all students to be back in the building in fall. Obviously, anything can happen, but this is what you're telling our wonderful students, Dean. Yes, sir. We hope to see everybody back on campus because, you know, what would we do without students? And I think especially coming from student services, we're the type of people that want to be with students and want to see students. So, uh, you know, that's I, I, this and silly side of me. I, I just got one thing. I think if we do, if we are back in person, Dean, you got to wear that the first week of class, okay? <laughs> oh, it's a PR. It's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> all right. And then uh, one of the great things about the start of the school year is it's also the startup of the uh, Cavalier season, uh, our school's intercollegiate team. So Vince, uh, knowing what Dean just said, what are you doing to prepare for the fall 21 season? Well, right now uh, we're, we're in the process of, of putting together, uh, as we normally do this time, our, our schedules. So we, we do have schedules made uh, as if everything's going to be back to normal uh, for our outdoor sports. Uh, we're working on them in the next week or so for our indoor sports. Um, but we're, we're doing it cautiously, optimistically, uh, but being... Uh, knowing Not knowing what's going to happen, right? So uh, we're having three sets of schedules done. One if it's a regular season, one if it's a, a reduced season, and one if we're not allowed to travel. So uh, there's a lot of planning going on. We're, we're looking at, I'm working with the city right now for, for booking field times for practices. So our goal, if everything goes according to plan uh, and the vaccinations roll out properly, uh, is that we're, we're back uh, in the saddle, I guess, uh, training. Uh, starting in early August, uh, with tryouts beginning uh, later in August, uh, and season starting 
late August, early September, depending on the league. But you know, there's so much that we don't know, but we're, we're ready for, we're getting ready for anything. So our goal is, uh, is to ensure that there's at least some form of competition or some form of games next year, uh, whether it's a full season, whether it's reduced season, but you know, whether it's just exhibition games, we realize that the students really need to play that, you know, for the student athletes, it's, it's one of their key components for coming to stage up key reasons. Um, and our objective is to get them on, uh, the field safely uh, in, in a way uh, that they can compete. So that's the ultimate goal. Uh, I'm, I'm optimistic. I think we're going to be back to something next year that was better than we had, uh, but it's still just up in the air. I think as Dean said, you know, everybody take care of themselves now, reduce the number of cases, get the vaccines when they come out, and we're in a better position come September. Nice. Um, all right, Chris, there was a lot of talking from the old gentleman here. So let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about this amazing project that has been in the works for, uh, for a couple of years now, which is the fitness center, correct? And, and what's, what, what is the fitness center going to be called? Okay, well, the fitness center is very exciting. It's a joint initiative from student services, the college and the CSA. And it's actually, going to be, it's actually going to be called the Champlain Student Association Fitness Center. Now, this is super exciting. What they've done is we've gutted out all the G-Wing lockers at the bottom. Um, so we move them to other areas or we replace certain lockers to get that all done and dandy. And now that's where the fitness center is going to be. If For those of you who know where the college is, when you walk up those ramps to go through the door, it's going to be right next to you through those windows. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be huge, like a big gym, basically, um, for working out, for training, for whatever your heart desires and it's going to be open for most hours of the day for all daytime students and hopefully once you guys get back to Champlain come uh, next semester it'll be ready to go mm -hmm. I've been told that the first hammer is going to go down on Monday morning which is huge news because we've been waiting for this for a very long time and I couldn't be more excited for it and hopefully you guys all enjoy it to be honest that's awesome, Chris. So the fitness center is used, it's going to be used for everybody as well. So not just athletes, it's just any student that wants to kind of take some time to like do some exercise, stretch it out and all that stuff, right? Absolutely. It's a place for everybody to go and work out whenever they want. It, Amazing. Perfect. Beautiful. I have a quick question for Chris. Uh, Sheila, one of my concerns, Chris, is I don't want to get too buffed. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think that will, will they have like certain hours I can go? Because I don't want to go like five days a week because I don't want to get like too big. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, you know what, Scott? I'm sure that you can work something else at the gym, you know, if you uh, like you go on the treadmill and like it goes on forward for you. So you don't have to do any work that way. Like okay. you can it can look like you're doing some work if you want. But in reality, you know, you're you're not getting those gains. So oh, we got it. So good. So good. So let's talk about another really exciting um, gathering or event. Um, it's graduation. Um, and I'm going to pass this along to Dean because a lot of our students are asking about graduation, if it's going to be happening, um, because it's a huge accomplishment for them. And I know it's a little bit difficult to answer that question, but what are, uh, what are your thoughts, Dean, and uh, what are some of the plans? So again, what, we, what we've communicated right now is that there are two dates that have been put in the, um, in the system. And uh, we've already communicated that to the college community, June 5th, and a backup date, September 11th. And uh, registration is open right now, and it's going really well. It shows that desire of everybody wanting to celebrate the, the, the achievements that they've had under these difficult conditions. Mm -hmm. And um, so um, we will make a decision the first week of May, whether June 5th is a viable date, or whether, um, and we can go ahead, or whether we have to move to uh, September 11th. So uh, we're hoping to be able to accommodate people like Chris, who have worked really hard over the, over the last couple of years um, to, uh, to graduate and uh, move on to what's next. And uh, we'd like to be able to celebrate that, everybody together in the community. So uh, th that's where we're at right now. So students can still re register for grad. Um, right now, and um, I don't know the deadline exactly to close of registration, but it's coming along really quick. Wonderful. And they register through Mio Student Service? Uh, they register online. There is an online form that was sent out, and uh, you can go through there. Perfect. And the cost is $20. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. 
you guys haven't done it yet, it's it's always the best uh, day of the year, you know, especially during these tough times to celebrate your accomplishments more so than ever. But before we get to grad, we still have some things to do, Sheila. We haven't wrapped up the winter 21 semester yet. And uh, part of those are the CSA. They have some awesome things coming up. So Chris, do you want to tell us a little bit uh, about what you guys have coming up before the uh, we come to close? Yeah, of course. So. As a, as a student association, what we're trying to do is really give you guys the best experience possible. We always have activities planned or things we want to do to help you guys to give you a better student life experience. Um, that being said, we have a bunch of activities coming up this semester to end it off on a bang. Well, we have free breakfasts every week. So every week, basically what happens is we Uber Eats you a free breakfast if you participate on our Instagram page. Nothing wrong, no catch, no nothing, free breakfast, who doesn't love that? There's also an online game night that is going to be coming April 24th. So everybody, if you want to have fun, play some games, you know, relax a bit before your exams, it's the perfect opportunity for you. And also free boba, which is coming April 28th at the Distant. Free boba is bubble tea. So you basically show up at a store in the Distant, you say, hi, I'm from Champlain student, I'm from a Champlain college. Can I have a free bubble tea? Nobody can. Yeah, sure. Here's a free bubble tea. Isn't that perfect? I mean, I don't see any better option than that. And uh, also coming up, adding to graduation that Dean just talked about, the CSA does want to play a role in that while giving you guys the best experience possible. So this just saying gifts might change, but there are a few gifts prepared for everybody who does show up. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's something to look forward to. And I just want to add that everybody does deserve a ceremony to, you know, commemorate all the hard efforts we've put in over the past two years mm -hmm. and just that time to enjoy ourselves. Great, Chris. Um, so I guess the, one of the biggest uh, events that Student Services runs at the end of the semester is our Student Recognition Gala. So I'm going to pass this along to Vince to talk about our Student Rec Recognition Gala, which is going to be taking place on April 28th. Correct. Uh, so <laughs> that night we're, we're going to be um, a little bit in retrospect of what we did in the year. You know, even though it wasn't our normal year, there were still a lot of students who got involved. There was still a lot of engagement done and we want to celebrate that and recognize those who, who took part and helped make it something special. Uh, but at the same time, we want to, um, get ready and, and show people what we're going to be doing next year when things get back to normal. Um, key point of student life is, is stage up life is being involved in, in the community and getting engaged and, and doing stuff. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of our, our students didn't have that opportunity. So we're going to you know kind of put together a little highlight video on things we've done in the past, but they're, 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 uh, I guess a, a, an indicator or they show, demonstrate what we're going to be doing in the future, you know, amplified, amp it up. Uh, mm -hmm. I think everybody's really eager to, to get back uh, in the building and getting back to our activities uh, and just making college life so much better through what we do uh, and what the students do and the volunteers do through, through student life and engagement. So uh, it's going to be a celebration of what we've done this year and, and a celebration of looking forward to uh, the future uh, and just getting everybody together and just being one big group of people that are happy to be together. Fantastic. So um, that's not only going to be open to our current students, it's going to be open to our future coming students as well. So it's going to be open to the entire community, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, and um, you're going, it, we're going to be sending out those specialized invitations probably this week. Um, so save the date for April 28th at 7 p.m. Yep. Um, so, Sheila, do you know who's uh, emceeing that event? I was or? literally just. I, I, we, we're we're in we're con we're in currently in contract negotiations with two individuals, but they're playing hardball. <laughs> they're 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 they're, they're uh, their riders are just asking for too much. I mean, Scott only wants green jelly beans, and Sheila said something about a certain type of flower that comes from the Galapagos. So, we're having a tough time on that one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was just going to ask that. I'm like, who are, who are the hosts for that? Um, <laughs> I mean, but yes. Um, they're so they're you. worth every penny. <laughs> yeah, and you're getting 100% of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Vin, Dean, and Chris, for being part of our, our series in Philly. You're actually one of, yeah, go ahead, Dean. Yeah, can I just jump in and tell, yeah. was talking about the fitness center. I just want to talk about one other little small change that's coming up that should be ready for August, it will be, is there'll be new now uh, bike storage lockers. Oh. Um, so for all of you, again, I think there's one thing we've learned from the pandemic is getting active, getting outdoors. So um, just outside of the cafeteria on the side where the old greenhouse used to be, there'll be bike storage lockers now. Um, so uh, students who want to drive in, whose bike they do not want to leave out in the uh, parking lot area locked up outside, there will be some secure um, storage lockers for bikes that will be put out. More information will be coming out about that. But again, an another way that the college is, is encouraging ac active life, uh, fitness and health and, and everything like that. So mm -hmm. you can get in your weight, your way, your lift, so you can bulk up a little bit and then you can just get out there and pedal it all off so you can keep your aerobic and lose weight while you're pedaling and everything. <laughs> so I don't think we have to worry about anything with you. Your clothes will still fit. Sheila and I have a tandem bike with one set of pedals. <laughs> and Sheila uses them, right? <laughs> uh, just one thing I forgot to throw in is that uh, we, we will be scheduling tryouts uh, for the new students and for any returning students. So that'll be published uh, near the end of May. Uh, of course, it'll be subject to change if things, uh, depending on how things go, but we're going to put that out there at the end of May, uh, send it out to all new students and let them know when the tryouts are going to be for our, our Division One, Division Two, and D3 teams. Awesome. Good to know, Vince. Yeah, can, can I add one last thing? CSA is putting lots of events and activities for you guys, so stay in contact with what we're doing and go follow. You can't really see that. MyCSA.ca on Instagram. Uh, Wonderful. Great outro, guys. I don't even have to do anything. Awesome job. Thank you so much for, for joining us. This is one of our um, last episodes, actually, of season two, three. I don't even know what season we're on. I think it's two, yes. It's season two. Um, we have uh, incredible final guests uh, coming on the show. We got Sarah Diamond, uh, which is a uh, Quebec uh, singer. And then we're going to have a special guest, which I'm not allowed to say right now because Scott is going to yell at me. Um, but it's coming out soon. So thank you so much for joining us. And if you guys want to continue to follow us, please follow on our Champlain St. Lambert YouTube page and we post on Tuesdays. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing all the great work that you do for our community. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, have thank a good you. afternoon. Thank all right, you. have a great one. Bye.